the Kayla Fly float, obviously, because we're not in the studio. We are riding through the Independent Parade right now. I think we're coming up on the end of it, but we've had had some issues here and there. We got stopped by a train, and then we got stopped at that intersection back there for a little while as well. But we are so happy to be here. We hear you guys screaming our names. We hear you guys saying that you love Channel 10, and even some people have signs that say KLFY TV 10 on them. We love to see that. We really appreciate you guys supporting us, and we're happy that we get to throw you some beads and some footballs and all that good stuff. We are speaking with some of our talent today on the float that we actually recorded earlier. We're starting with Gerald, so let's hear what Gerald loves so much about the Mardi Gras season. Yeah, so uh, growing up in New Orleans, I had never experienced Mardi Gras outside of the city. And uh, one of the things that I've loved about my personal Mardi Gras traditions is doing a little pause spot too out in the country, right? Uh, whether it's chicken runs, trail rides, whatever that is, and then wrapping up our afternoon uh, in the Independent Parade, the north side always showing love, downtown, through the middle of town, and back at Cajun Field. It's a good time. I look forward to it for sure. And it's so crazy, the amount of people who know you guys and will yell out some of the talent's name. Do you get excited whenever people are excited to see you? Yeah, so uh, normally I'm going to be honest with you. Lydia, you've done it with us a couple of times, obviously, since you've been at Channel 10. How many times have you ever seen me up here for it? Never, right? I'm always kind of ducked off and in the shade trying to stay away from the sun. But uh, some of our, our evening talent isn't up here today. I'm like, all right, man, I got to get up there and, and stand in the middle. So I don't mind. I got my sunblock on. We're good. And, and to be honest with you, uh, one of the things that I love most about our television station is just how much pride people take in it and I'm not just talking about us as a staff but the community man they rock with Channel 10 so um, honestly at this point man they know the deal you know what I'm saying they're rocking with us just like we rocking with them yeah and people are excited to see Gerald excited to see us and we're excited to see them as well and just enjoy this season with everybody and Gerald you're taking one for the team today yep. you're you're getting a little sunburn a little sun out here know, but that's all right I, I would have wore a hoodie or something I'm glad I wore my long sleeves for sure, but we're all right. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Yes, we're going to make it. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. We'll be back after this break for more Mardi Gras-themed activities with you guys. Stay tuned. You're watching Acadiana Live, Acadiana's first and only lifestyle show.
Dot. Hello, Acadiana. Welcome back to the Independent Parade. Yes, what you are seeing is live right now. We are riding through the Independent Parade. We're coming up on the end of it. We have uh, the UL track field to our left, and we're about to turn in to Cajun Field, which is where the Mardi Gras Festival is happening. But again, throughout today's show, we're speaking with some Kayla Fly family members about some Mardi Gras memories, maybe what they look most forward to each Mardi Gras season. So we have Jasmine Dean up next, and I actually got on a, a little bit of a controversial topic with Jasmine about, about king cake. You know how people love to fight about, oh, what's the best king cake flavor? Where's the best king cake from? Everybody fights about it every year, but Jasmine actually had a really interesting answer. So we're going to hear from Jasmine in just a second. So uh, here's more about the Mardi Gras season with News 10's Jasmine Dean. excited. I love it. I love it so much. It's truly amazing. Wait, how can I forget? You did the story about my grandfather celebrating 50 years driving a school bus. So that, that was your first uh, Acadian Alive appearance. I love that so much. But we're, ta we're focusing on Mardi Gras today, switching gears than our normal thing. What excites you about this about this se this time of year? I mean, I just I love the fact that everyone comes together and just celebrates something that's so unique to Louisiana. I mean, yeah, they have Mardi Gras other places, but nothing like here in Acadiana. It's it's amazing. Everyone's just excited. The energy is amazing. I love it. I mean, it gets me pumped up and excited too. So I love it. I love it. Now, do you or your family do y'all have any certain Mardi Gras traditions that you look forward to doing every year? I'm just going to parades. We love to get out, go to parades, see which different ones they have. I'm originally from Baton Rouge, so going to parades out there and then parades out here, completely different, but I absolutely love it. So our tradition, just get together, go parade hopping, and just see what we can get. Yeah. So. Now, King Cakes, I haven't touched on the topic of King Cakes yet with anybody because it can be a little controversial, but as far as you personally, um, favorite King Cake, do you have one in the Acadiana area? I know it's kind of hard to nail down just one, but do you have a favorite? I'm actually not a fan of King Cake. I will only eat it if it has filling in there. I love the Bavarian cream filling and the strawberry, but other than that, it has to have filling for me to eat it, and with the filling, it's good, though. And you see, I love a good king cake, but I know Bavarian cream is, like, the most popular filling. I don't like it. I have never liked Bavarian cream. Oh, my gosh. No. That's what made me, like, that's what made me try a king cake, the Bavarian cream filling. I was like, okay, it's not that bad, so I love it. And I've never been a fan. I hate to say that, but I, I'll go ahead and tell you guys my favorite. Great Harvest Bread Company is my favorite king cake in Acadiana. Amazing. If you haven't tried them, you should. Hopefully they're still selling, I assume, because it's only Mardi Gras day. But um, yeah, so what else um, has been going on throughout this week? Have you guys, as reporters, been doing Mardi Gras coverage? Actually, yes. So I just shot a story in Mamu about their Mardi Gras, and it's so amazing. I mean, the culture is just unique. They have the Korea de Mardi Gras, where you have Mardi Gras running to catch a chicken. That was amazing. When I tell you it's crazy and wild, I've never seen anything like it until I've been out there and I've seen that. Once you experience a Mamu Mardi Gras, then you truly experience the Cajun tradition. It's, it's amazing. I love it. And I've heard a lot of good things about Mamu Mardi Gras and how it really is kind of like the, the traditional way of Mardi Gras with the Career Day Mardi Gras. Um, I know that's been a big thing for, for a really long time. So I haven't been to Mamu, but hopefully I'll be able to get there next year or one of one of these years but jasmine thank you so much for joining us on the show what else do you have to say to acadiana uh, to wish them a happy mardi gras season all i gotta say is happy mardi gras acadiana go out have fun and party like you've never party before but of course be safe yes be safe out there have fun though we're having fun on this float again happy mardi gras and we'll be back we have one more uh, little treat for you guys with some news 10 talent we'll be right back after this break you're watching Acadiana Live, Acadiana's first and only lifestyle show.
Welcome back, Acadiana. Acadiana Live today is live on our KLFY float in the Independent Parade. But as you guys can assume, because uh, it's kind of clearing out, the sidelines are clearing out a little bit behind us. So we are nearing the end of the parade, but still lots more fun going on because Cajun Field is where the Mardi Gras Festival happens every year here in Lafayette. So that's where a lot of people are ending up after these parades, including us. We are wrapping up the parade right here at the festival. So excited. We came. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Independent Parade. We have, we now have a new sim meteorologist, Trevor Sonia. You guys see him every week for our Kid Caster segment. Trevor, how excited are you to be out here today? Really excited. Some great weather. We have blue skies. A little chilly, but not too bad. It's been a big week for Louisiana. We had the Super Bowl on CBS Sunday, which got like 163 million viewers. So a big day for CBS. Now we got Mardi Gras rolling through. We've been having parades since uh, Monday and today. It's just a fun time. Yeah. And now you and your family, what are some, do y'all have any Mardi Gras traditions? I mean, what do y'all like to do around this time? I know you have kids, or, uh, yeah. so, so what's it been like? Well, of course, riding in the Independent Parade with all of my KLFY people, I have to do that. Um, I do have to give Keller's a shout out. We got a king cake from Keller's. It's blueberry cream cheese, and it was really good. And I cooked a gumbo last night. That's another tradition, especially when it's cool. So it, it, it's been a lot of fun. And you know what? That cool weather that was brought in today, I feel like it's only been over the last couple of days that it's gotten a little bit cooler. But thank goodness, because that sun is beating down on us today. So like Gerald was just saying that he might end up with a little sunburn after this, uh, you know, with his with his ginger skin. Not to not to hate on Gerald, but yeah, it's warm out here, but it feels great. Happy to be out here. Um, as far as you know, seeing the community out here today, so excited to see us. How does that make you feel being on this float, able to represent KLFY? It's really great when you're in the studio. You don't get to see the viewers. You don't get to see the people watching you. So when you're out here and everyone's hollering about KLFY and how much they love us and they're hollering at us individually, it feels really good. It gives us confirmation that people are watching us, people respect us in the community, and we really feel a need each and every day. And uh, it's a really good feeling. I completely agree. I think it's amazing to see viewers who, you know, they watch us every single day on the television. Now they get to see us out in the community doing fun things with them like yeah. Mardi Gras. So excited to celebrate with Acadiana. What, do you, what else do you have to say to wish everybody a happy Mardi Gras? Does everyone have fun. Come to the parades, but just be safe. Do not drink and drive, and let's have a good time here in Louisiana for Mardi Gras. Yes, happy Mardi Gras, Acadiana. Again, we will be back right after the break with more Mardi Gras fun with you guys. Stay with us. You're watching Acadiana Live, Acadiana's first and only lifestyle show.
Welcome back, Acadiana. Once again, we are live in your independent parade on this beautiful Mardi Gras day. I mean, the weather could not have been better. We've been visiting with some of our KLFY News 10 family, and our last interview was with someone who's actually behind the scenes, but he's actually been on air uh, before. You might recognize him, might not, because he's mostly behind the scenes. But let's take a look at what Nick Martin has to say about the Mardi Gras season. Right, so I'm one of the news producers, so I produce one of our shows, and then I also won a scholarship for LAB, so you may have seen my commercial somewhere. Yeah, his commercial has been all over our newscast. I remember seeing it for the first time. I was like, oh, look at Nick, because he won a scholarship, which is just amazing. So, um, yeah, that you may have seen him on KLFY, of course, but focusing on Mardi Gras, what is something that you love to do during this time of year? I love to come to the parades with all my family. Actually, the route that we're on, we used to line up with our campers, come camping out. So it's really a whole like whole circle moment that it would come back and also give back. And I always see people's campers. Do people actually come and like spend the night on the parade route? Yeah, we used to come from like a Thursday to Tuesday, just go to all the parades, go to the fair, go do everything. It was always so much fun. That is and you even brought some of your family on the float with us today, didn't you? Right, yes. So my grandparents, my grandpa and grandma, they're actually on the float with me today. I used to go camping with them. They don't do it anymore, but they were so excited to be able to come join us today. And I got to meet your grandparents. They are so sweet. But how are they, you know, how do they feel about the job that you have and, you know, what you're doing? They just must be really proud. Oh, my God. They are so excited. They're so proud. They just started watching 10 again. They are so excited just because I'm producing and everything. And just also, they are so excited to be on the boat today to also represent KLFY. Yeah, yeah we're, we're so excited to be able to see some of you guys out in the crowds. Have you seen any crazy posters yet? I've been, I've been recording these interviews. I haven't been looking around. But I remember last year seeing people coming from, like, different countries. Have you seen anything interesting today? Yes, I've seen so many signs like I'm from here, I'm from there. Everybody's coming to Lafayette from Mardi Gras because it's just such a fun vibe. Everybody's so friendly, so cool. There's really no other place like Lafayette for Mardi Gras. I have to agree. This is one of the best places to celebrate this time of year. So we are happy to be here with you guys. And Nick, I appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Happy Mardi Gras, Acadiana. Um, live from Studio 10 is up next back in the studio with, of course, News 10's Dalfred Jones, but I believe Darla Montgomery is going to be out at the Mardi Gras Festival at Cajun Field, so you'll get some more Mardi Gras updates from us later on, but that's it today for Acadiana Live. Thanks so much for joining us.